And as always, he is free to leave me and go over there if he's not interested in what we're doing, but he is choosing to stay and participate in his training. Good. Saw a slight amount of stress there, but notice as soon as I move the pad away, his head drops. We've got licking and chewing and relaxation. So that time um, the pad did cross over his spine and onto the other side of his back. So we're gonna call that for today because last time we introduced this pad, we didn't even touch him with it. So that's a good progression for me. Now we're just gonna work on increasing the amount of time that we can ask him to hold up his hoof in preparation for a trim. Hello everyone, welcome to another session with Sundancer. Today we're going to be working more on his stops with the cue Woe, as well as leading with the lead rope, picking up his front hooves and holding him for a longer duration. And if we have enough time left over, we might play around a little bit with the saddle pad and introducing some beginning steps of lunging. So that's what's on our agenda today. And let's get started. We're so glad you're here. All right, so we're just gonna start by having him target the lead rope a little bit here. Good. And we're just gonna see how he feels about it touching him. Much better than past sessions. That's great. <clears throat> what about it draped over? Very good, no concerns. Gonna wait for him to wait patiently, beautiful. Alrighty. Now we're actually gonna go ahead and clip the lead rope on here. And just like always, we're gonna start off with just some light pressure on the face so that he can recall what the correct answers are to relieve pressure. In this way. Good. Okay, let's see about forward. Good. A lot of times this pressure off the face going forward is a tricky one for them. You'll see in a lot of people's um, leading a wild Mustang videos, they're just pulling and the horse's immediate response is to brace against that pressure. So using positive reinforcement to teach pressure really solidifies that they don't need to fight the pressure, that it's okay and giving into it is the correct answer. And you can teach them that without any explosions or blow ups or anything major happening. So it's a really great tool for us to have. Good. All righty, just gonna move these things out of the way here and let's go for a little walk. Good boy, come on. Good, very nice. And we've got my mare Ruby here who snuck in and is going to join us and probably block the entire Good. Good. I think you guys can see now. Good boy. Come on. Good. As you can see, he is a little bit hesitant today. That is okay. Um, he has had some time off, unfortunately, because I was sick. And um, so we're gonna make today's session just a little bit shorter. We're not gonna work too long. We're just gonna, gonna work on a little bit of basic 
pressure here off the halter, have him respond to that, and uh, work on a few other little things, and then we'll call it a day for today's session. So we've done that direction. Now we're going to go this direction a little bit. Good. Very nice. <coughs> And again, just a slight bit of pressure on the face. Good. Oh. Good. Good. All right. Very nice. Now we're going to work up the duration of this leading, just like everything else. So, whoa. For today, that's pretty much all we're going to do with the leading portion. He is a little bit um, on edge today, so we don't want to make the session too long because we don't want him to be unwilling to work with us. All right, so now let's have a look at the saddle pad. Very good. I always like to introduce a new thing and allow them to investigate with their nose first. It just lets them know that it's okay, they can investigate it, it enforces them being brave. Here we have him stick his face in the middle of it, that's great as well. And we're gradually going to work on getting this close to where it belongs. Okay, I'm watching for stress indicators there. So I kept moving it closer until I saw his eyes widen and him get a little tense. And then I stopped, removed the pressure that this pad inevitably adds, and rewarded him for remaining calm. Good. Same thing there. And this is me mixing cat H desensitizing with positive reinforcement. It's a really, really effective combo. <laughs> Very good. Okay, we'll try it again. Beautiful. That time we actually got to touch him with it. And as always, he is free to leave me and go over there if he's not interested in what we're doing. But he is choosing to stay and participate in his training. Good. Saw a slight amount of stress there, but notice as soon as I move the pad away, his head drops. We've got licking and chewing and relaxation. So that time... Um, the pad did cross over his spine and onto the other side of his back. So we're going to call that for today because last time we introduced this pad, we didn't even touch him with it. So that's a good progression for me. Now we're just going to work on increasing the amount of time that we can ask him to hold up his hoof in preparation for a trim. Good. <clears throat> So ideally for this process, you want to click and reward right before they're going to put it down. He lasted about three good seconds there. So we're going to start with a baseline of three and we're going to try and increase the amount of time that his hoof is in the air um, by one second each repetition. So I'll ask him to come forward. Good. Okay. I'll ask him to pick up his hoof. One, two. No. Okay. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Very good. So he is a little bit antsy today. That's all right. It's evening. I usually work with him in the morning, so he knows it's about feeding time. So these are all things that have to be taken into account when you're deciding to work with your horse as well. We often just expect that we can do things out of a routine and have the same um, outcome with our horse, but that is often not the case. Very good. That was about a four, four second count. Now let's try this other side. Okay. 
didn't feel like picking it up, that's okay. We'll ask him to come forward. Maybe it's because my body was at a weird place due to that bush. Come on. And just wait for him to come into position here. We've got Dietz over there ransacking some feed bags, so he's got a little bit of Sundancer's attention here. Come on, bud. Good. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Now let's see how this goes. Wrong foot. He's just not wanting to lift that up. That's okay. Maybe he wasn't balanced because now he's trying to pick it up. Perfect. Alrighty, very good. Now I'm going to call that a session for today. The sun's going down. I've still got to clean out pins and I always like to make the sessions a lot shorter when we are just getting back into work after some time off. They really appreciate it and um, it is a nice way to just ease them back into sessions and have a good little refresher before we start going with longer sessions again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to help you out and we'll see you in the next video.